Hey everybody, I'm the Ranting Monkey, and today we're going to learn how to live stream. I've been talking about making tutorial videos pretty much since I started here on YouTube. Well, at least since I started getting asked questions about how I do what I do. There's a lot of subjects I can and will cover eventually, but for right now I want to discuss one that came up recently. A lot of people, myself included, think that you have to be really complicated when it comes to setting up a live stream. When I first started, I looked up videos and all of them told me that I needed to use OBS. One afternoon, talking with my buddy Scribe Light, I brought up the subject of how I wanted to live stream, but it was just too complicated. And he told me, no, it's really not. And he walked me through how to do it. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. For the record, you can get a lot more complicated if you want to. I'm going to link to Jeff Holliday's video on how to stream with OBS because I think it's an excellent tutorial. But if you're just trying to set up a live stream and talk with some people, it is really, really simple. Okay, here we go. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is come to your Creator Studio. Click on the live streaming link here. Ignore the stream now. Go right here to Events. You're going to come up to the right-hand corner and click New Live Event. Fill in a title. Right here you can schedule it for today or any other day if you want to do it later in the week. You can go live now or set up a time later. I usually set up a time later. I rarely go live now. Put in a description. Doesn't matter really what it says. Put in a tag. Nobody really uses these. And then you can set it to either public, unlisted, or private. We're going to do this private. Um, normally you'll just do public, but I am actually going to take this live so you guys can see how that works. And I don't want it out there for everybody. Now this is the important part on whether or not you're going to use something like OBS. Since we're not using OBS, we're going to just make sure that our type is quick. Once everything is set up, click Create Event. Once all the changes have been saved, it's going to take you to this screen. Now this is how you're going to start your stream, right here where it says Start Hangouts on Air. If you click on that, it'll bring up this box. On this screen, this is where you can turn on a webcam if you have one. If you don't have a cam or you don't want your face on there, turn it off like mine is right now and it'll use your YouTube avatar. This is how you mute yourself. And this here is how you invite people. You click this button and it'll give you the link. You can click on that link and send it to people. We usually do it through Twitter. You can do it through email. You can also invite people directly. I never use that. But once you have everybody here and ready to go, you click the Start Broadcast button. It's going to tell you that you're about to broadcast, and you click OK. Now it tells us that the Hangout is live. If we come back to this, we can click on the title of our stream, and it'll take us to the page. And in a moment, we will see we are, in fact, live. When you're done with your stream, you simply stop broadcasting, wait for the notification that it's done, and then you guys can still talk or you can hang up the call. And that's it. That's all there is to setting up a stream. I hope that helps some of you get Hangouts going. Don't forget, if you'd like to know how to use OBS to do this, check out the link to Jeff Holliday's channel below. If there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover in one of these how-to videos, leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Ranting Monkey, and I'll see you next time.